हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर आकांक्षा मुकवाने परसुइंग माय एम डी एस एट जी डी सी औरंगाबाद इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्रोसोडोंटिक्स राउंड एंड रेज हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज डॉक्टर वेदिका पठाड़े आई एम परसुइंग माई एम डी एस फ्रॉम जी डी सी अहमदाबाद इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्रोसोडोंटिक्स एंड क्राउन एंड रेज एंड एज यू ऑल नो दैट नीट रिजल्ट आर आउट सिंस रियली लॉन्ग टाइम एंड नीट काउंसिल इज अबाउट टू हैपन सो मी एंड आकांक्षा वी थॉट ऑफ मेकिंग दिस कोलेबरेटिव वीडियो फॉर यू Uh, to make the counseling process a bit easy for you counseling can be bit tricky for those who are attending it for the first time also counseling is very crucial part as it's going to decide which branch and which college you are going to get so it's important to understand the process so without any delay let's get started so neat mds counseling is an online process and you have to fill an online application form for that so basically there are two counselings first is all india counselling and second is state counselling to all india counselling you can get admissions in uh, central universities afmc deemed universities and 50% seats of all the dental government dental colleges of india through state counselling you can get admission in the remaining 50% government seats of that particular uh, state and the private colleges of that particular state Now let's discuss about All India Counselling. To attain All India Counselling, we have to register ourselves on nbe.edu.in. So here are few documents given on the screen that you require while registration as well as while admission. So I am going to tell you about few documents. So about admit card. Usually, what happens after our exam, we tend to misplace our admit card. So kindly keep it with you. till your admission also keep it photocopy then about registration certificate usually uh, provisional registration certificate and permanent regis- or permanent registration certificate both are acceptable but they are having certain validity so before submitting your registration certificate kindly check it and if required kindly renew it then about degree certificate or passing certificate both are acceptable if you are fresher you may not have your degree certificate in such case you may submit your passing certificate you can get your degree certificate mailed later on also then about migration certificate the student those who are willing to take admission out of their state they will be requiring uh, migration certificate so kindly get it made before your counseling process because it takes time I will personally recommend you to carry all your documents because uh, uh, they might ask you anything uh, especially when you are traveling away from your city you must carry everything that you have um, I'll tell you what happened with me um, I was been asked for attempt certificate which was not there in any list but luckily I carried all my documents and that really helped also uh, carry four sets of uh, uh, photocopies of the original documents two of which should be attested by a gazetted officer now about registration fees if you want to apply for central universities afmc and 50% quota of jdcs you will have to pay the sum of 26000 for unreserved category among which 25000 is refundable and 1000 is non refundable for reserved category it is 10500 rupees among which 10000 is refundable and 500 is non refundable fees now if you want to apply for deemed universities also then you have to pay 2 lakh 5000 rupees uh, registration fees among which 2 lakh is refundable and 5000 rupees is non refundable let's have a look at a gross overview of the entire counseling process so um, all india counseling has four rounds round 1 round 2 mock up round and stray vacancy round So seat matrix will come first, and you will be given choices according to your category. And once you fill the choices, you may modify them until the time you lock the choices. So if you don't lock the choices, um, it will automatically get locked once they close the window. So it's okay if you don't lock it. Uh, it's better. Uh, it's better rather, I would say, because you will be able to uh, change the preferences later if you feel confused. So after the results are out and you are allotted a college in the first round, you have two options. First one is 
you can go to the college take admission and if you are satisfied with the college and the branch you can think about uh, filling the status retention form if you are not satisfied uh, with the college or the branch you can go to the college take admission and then you can apply for uh, upgradation now uh, choice second is that if you're not uh, if you don't want to go there and uh, take admission you can apply for uh, free ex free exit means you have surrendered the seat that you have gotten and still you can apply for round 2 all india second round is kind of a confirmatory round and you have to take whatever you get in the second round so you have to report to the college you have to take admission and once you do that a report will be sent by all india to state and you will not be uh, you will not be allowed to participate in your state rounds uh, anymore uh, but if you are not at all satisfied with the branch or the uh, college that you have gotten in all india second round and you want to participate in state counseling so uh, in that case you have to surrender the seat don't have to go to the college don't report there and uh, uh, you can now participate in uh, state round but you are disqualified from all india rounds and uh, also your refundable amount will not be refunded back to you if uh, you haven't got any seat in uh, all india round 1 and round 2 and you have got uh, a seat in mop up round then uh, you can take the you will have to take the seat if you don't take the seat there you will be disqualified from the counseling and you will not be able to participate in uh, in stray vacancy round okay so that's about the overview of all india counseling now about allotment list tell me dr vedika do you feel is there any significance of studying previous years allotment list like can we get any reference from that previous years list maybe to some extent uh, it might help you because you will get a rough idea of what you can get uh, also you can get an idea about uh, till what rank uh, clinical seats were allotted last time and uh, till what rank non clinical uh, seats were allotted last year so you can get a rough idea but at the end it all depends on seat matrix and your category so uh, doesn't matter a lot this last year seat matrix uh, and uh, the list doesn't matter i think also um, i will uh, highly recommend you to join groups that are there on telegram and whatsapp there are counseling groups so you must uh, join them what do you think akansha uh, while selecting between branch and college what should be given more priority what do you think branch or a college what should be given more priority obviously branch should be given more importance than that of college since branch is there with you for like lifetime and college just for 3 years so obviously branch should be given more importance also while filling a preference form you should have some idea about that college so for this purpose you may talk to some seniors of that college and you may ask them about the patient flow about the guide number of special cases variety of cases and certain branch related particular branch specific questions so we have tried our best to compile all the information that we have about the counseling process and convey it to you and if you still have any doubts you can ask us in the comment section below if you like our collaborative video then kindly suggest us more such topics to talk upon we will surely try to work upon it also if you like our work kindly consider subscribing our channel all the very best for your counseling thank you